Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about The Flash episode number 21, The One Away Dinosaur. In this episode here you have Barry who is having pretty much, he's inside the Speed Force now. Because Dr. Wells tried to give him back his powers and things didn't go according to plan and when he got zapped with everything, it took him to the Speed Force. And now the Speed Force is talking to Barry and trying to get him to I guess you could say, accept loss. Because if he learns how to accept the loss that he's been through, he can regain himself. And the Speed Force comes to him in different forms. It comes to him as Joe. It comes to him as um, his father, um, Henry. And it also comes to him as his mother, Nora. And each person that he talks to is like, is like, is like helping Barry go on his journey, even though he's not quite understanding what they're trying to tell him at first, but he learns how to, he learns the, the message that they actually, that they, they actually are trying to tell him, and it helps him become the, the Flash again. And on the outside world, you have what's going, you have, um, you have one of the metahumans brought back to life. Now, the actor's name is Greg Finley. He plays, he, he's playing Tom Woodward, or a.k.a. Gerda. And Gerda died, and he, because the particle assimilator thing exploded, it reanim reanimated him and brought him back to life as a zombie. Which I think is kind of, which I think is funny, because Greg Finley started off on this show as a metahuman, and he died. And he left this show to go to I Zombie, where he played a zombie. So now he's back on this show again, which is interesting, because he was Barry's first metahuman. And he's back on the show again as the zombie. Which I think is just funny. This was a really great episode. It was directed by Kevin Smith. And because it was directed by Kevin Smith, he had a cameo by Jason Mewes. He's on this episode too. He didn't seem to do much, but he had a, a funny part in the episode, which I, which I did enjoy. And I thought it was, 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 was quite funny. Overall, this was, a, like I said, a good episode. I really did enjoy it a whole lot. Um, Grant Gustin is Barry Allen. He always does an amazing job. And he had, and he, even though he was like in the speed force talking to like his family members who aren't, who aren't really there, but they, he had nice and touching moments between each and every one of them, especially the one he had with his mother, played by Michelle Harrison, she played Nora Allen, and I and I thought that was a very moving and very um touching scene that they had between one another, because that, that's when Barry actually fully started to accept the fact that he lost his mom, because. Ever since the child, he always he always wanted like he never accepted that his mom his mom was dead. He never visited the grave because he always because if, if he visited the grave it would, it would it would make like permanent that his mom was gone. And even when he got his powers back and he realized he could go back in time, he thought he could bring his he could help stop his mom from dying. That was one of the things he wanted to do. And knowing that his future like one of his future selves or past selves told him not to do that. But still have it weighing on him all this time, even though he's trying to act like it didn't bother him, but it was still there. So, so while he was in the speed force, he had to learn how to accept loss, so he can regain his true self, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, all the actors on the show do an amazing job; like, they're it, it doing a, a great job. And this scene, um, each character perform being who they are. This show, cause I like the way I like this show so much because it fully embraces the fact that it's a, based off a comic book. It is light at times. It can be silly at times. It can be really dark at times too. But it it always makes you feel good when you watch it, and I really do enjoy that a whole lot. Not every superhero has to be dark and brooding. I mean, it are some scenes when he is dark and brooding at times, but he also brings a lightness to the show, and uh, also, also the lightness to the show, and a joy that you can, you can laugh at and be silly with it as well, which I do enjoy. It balances the, the, between dark and humor quite well, and I like that. Now, this was a, not a lot happened in this episode here. It was a slower pace, which is quite interesting, because every, every scene where Barry was angry and speak for it, they kept telling us to sit down. I thought it was quite funny and very interesting at the same time, because this this, this, whole, this whole episode right here was a slower pace. It wasn't like, Zoom was in it, but he didn't have a, a, a really major part. And even though the bad guy was just a, just a zombie, it wasn't really like much of a threat, 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 like Zoom is. 
It didn't take away from the on the storyline of of Zoom. It didn't really add nothing to it. But it was a nice, a slower paced episode that you can enjoy, in this watch, and you get to get to know what's in, what's going on and the emotional struggle that Barry's going through, which I did enjoy a lot. So I highly recommend this episode. I said check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. And if you haven't watched The Flash, I said check it out for yourself. Hopefully you will enjoy this as much as I do. If you have any thoughts or theories or opinions about this episode right here, leave your comments down below. I really would like to hear them. Well, that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like and thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it like I always say in my dreams and in real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.